all right thank you very much for joining me my name is Sergei Thomas and I'm going to be taking you through the first step in this entire tutorial first off we're going to be creating a pioneer account and I already have a pioneer account but I'm going to be showing you how you can create yours from scratch so first off you go to pioneer pioneer.com go to that URL and wait for it to load and it's going to bring you to this point where you need to create an account so you click on register when it brings you here And while you're here, this is the point where you are going to fill up all your information. Man is going to fill up all your information. So the first thing you need to do is type in your name, starting from your first name. And please listen to this. This is a very important detail I want to share now. The name you use here the first name and the last name ensure that it is exactly what is on your bank account ensure that it is exactly what is on your bank account the exact name that is on your bank account that is what you should use here please i'm reiterating use the exact name on your bank account forget what you see here forget what you know use the name the exact name on your bank account that alone is one reason why a lot of people's accounts gets um you know blocked why they begin to register so um just do what i tell you very good so i'll use my name here to get registered although i already have an account too but i'm going to just fill up details here as though i want to create a new account for myself Where is that it don't get the key? Okay. I'll use this. I'll use that. Next. Okay, you see, you see we only allow one account per person. That's because my account, my email already is registered. So let me use another email I believe have not been used before to do this. Great. Okay. So my own details has been already filled here. In this first part, your country, of course, you put your country. If you are from Nigeria, you put Nigeria. If you are from Ghana, use Ghana, and so on and so forth. The essence of using Pioneer is to help us bypass the regional restriction that Amazon places for Africans and non-US citizens. So just use your country here. Then here you put your block or your street number and the address. Mine is already put inputted here. Then the city you include the city where you call where you currently live, and then the zip code you include that. And the next thing here is you put in your um mobile number, your phone number. And now this part where you see the country code, the country code automatically changes as you change the, the country here. So that's an issue. I'll use my phone number now. So that i can be able to get a code so as soon as you have put the phone number here next thing you do is to click on send code click on that and you get the code sent i've received the code let me press.
all right so um, the code the code is three seven three four seven seven one one so good verified continue now here you're going to input a password as you wish let me create a password now security question you can use any just use any of them here what was your major during college the which high school did you attend um what is the first name of your older sibling you can just use that just make sure you use a name or an answer that you can always remember and that's it so at this point where you see national id type you have national id here, your driver's driving license you have passport use any one that you have but if you don't have a national id card you don't have a driving license you don't have passport you can leave this as national id card and impute any other id number that you have it will still work so just impute your your, your id number here let me put mine matter of fact what, I'm, what i type is the dummy number so i don't need to bother about that so i'll just use that and the next thing is just to type out this code you are seeing here this you type out this code just type it z q u v 4 now don't, don't bother it is not case sensitive so you can use either capital letters or small letters it will work use next and you move Now you look at something here now. You see, as soon as we got to this third point where it's we are supposed to now put in our bank details. Now remember when we are setting this account for in that we are setting it as an individual's account. So you see here is on personal account. Leave it that way. Now if you have a US um, US dollar account, a, dom a, a domiciliary account, you can decide to use it straight up from here. This part where you see currency, you can decide to change this to USD. Now USD, and then you put in the bank, the particular bank um, that is giving you the provision of that US dollar account. You just type if it's a guarantee trust bank, you just use that and put it here, and you type out the account number here. But did you notice that my name had already been imputed here, and it's something I cannot change. So that is why I said. And if the name here does not tally with what's originally my bank account, there might be issues. So what I'm saying here is that what you should do, what you are supposed to do is, if you don't have a dumb, dumb account, just leave this as Naira. The moment you change this country, the country used to register this account from the onset will specify the currency that's here. If you are doing this from Ghana, for instance, let's use Ghana. Let's Ghana. Ghana. Now you see that we have USD GHS, which is Ghana cities. Do you see that? But the name here does not change. Why? Because it is what I've used to register this account. So that's why I said the name you are using to register this account. Use the exact name on your bank account so that there will not be issues when you intend to withdraw. The money. So I'm registering from Nigeria. I'll change this back to Nigeria, and of course my Nigeria account. And I use a bank with Guarantee Trust Bank. So I'm going to include that. And then type in account number zero one two nine two five one eight. Of course, this my account will not be approved because I already have one account. But everything I have shown you in this video is exactly what you should do to get your account approved. So you click on I agree. I agree. And you click on submit i don't want to submit this so that they don't block of course they are going to still block this account okay let me still just click on it even though they are going to block the account anyway but that's just the way it goes so this is it you see congratulations your account um, application has been submitted successfully and it's now being reviewed what you should do down the next thing you should do from here is that you click on my account so when you do, it's going to bring you to this point where you have to log in. So let's log in. Log in. So 
to log into a new account that has been created and let's see what happens amazing <laughs> wow it appears that account has actually approved and all i thought was that it was not going to be approved because i already have one but anyway so we're glad that it was approved and we come to this point so the next thing you should do is to select a security question you can use anything like i always use save that or use a question that you can always remember so i'll use anything here and just use um let me use this as the i don't use anything because i know i can remember that so you just make sure it's a question that you have the right answers to and you can always remember or just simply use the the current city you are at something that you can remember okay i created this account where i was here or where i was there or use something i can always remember that's the point so we just wait for this to load to take me to my dashboard where i'm going to see other details as to how to proceed so it brings it will bring you to this point where you'll be required to upload your government issued id card you can see this is me I'm doing this at um okay so look at good evening said thomas and i'm just waiting for this to come up yeah when when as soon as it comes up you click on submit now This part is this is the first thing you do as soon as it comes up like this. Click on submit now. Click on submit. Take you to the point where you're supposed to now upload your bank issued ID card. So when it comes to the verification center, the next thing you always see is to add these two information here. Number one, provide business details. And number two, account verification. I'm going to teach you how to fill up this. But first, we are going to okay, let's start with this. Provide. So once you click on that, you see global payment service questionnaire. It's a very simple form that is required of you to fill. You just click on it, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. The first part is select the category that best describes the goods or services you'll be paid for. Click on that. And you scroll down to where you see writing and translation because you basically write and publish books then what services do you provide you click on it you just click on order provide the URL to your online store website you can just type kdp.amazon.com and then the next question is what is your connection to this website you can just simply type also and this part it says tell us a bit about your business who are your customers and what are they paying for if you are doing business and right and sell books for readers all over the world via Amazon KDP. Now this is me just writing what you know, what just comes to my mind. You can decide to be more creative and put a more excellent response here, but this suffices. So click on submit and you are good to go. So next additional account just click on account verification here. Now this point it says government issued photo ID. Just click on that, and here is you are required. You are going to be required to upload your um, you are going to be required to upload your passport or national ID card or whatever it is that you are using. So for this particular account, I'm going to be uploading my national ID card. That's what I'm going to be using for this account.
okay so i just uploaded my national id card i'll click on submit success so now you see there is no more required information you see no open requirements is still here this is passport go back question here under review so that's basically all i need to do so after you have done that you just simply sign out and wait for like 10 to 15 minutes for your account to be approved so after waiting for a few minutes you come back and log in or sign in okay so uh, while it's sending in what we are coming to check again is to see if our foreign accounts have been set up most times the moment you log into your account and you see this thing these balances here the indication that the account has been set up and you see that there is the um, the the bar here the notification here that we are asked to go to the verification center to you know upload our document has disappeared because we have done that so what you should do next is bring out bring your mouse and hover this this point where you see the C if you're using a smartphone to do this you simply click on the menu when you click on the menu you still see receive click on receive and you just then scroll down to where you see global payment service that's what you should click you click on that it's going to now bring you to this page where you would see your bank account your foreign bank account that has been created for you and this is what we'll be needing to set up our Amazon account so that it will be verified. Now, basically, this is it. So, we'll use the US dollar um, bank account. So, just click on that. When you click on that, now you see that you see we have first century bank here. We have the bank address, we have the routing address, we have the account number, we have the account type, and the official name. So everything was created in my name. And now I can also use this same bank details to receive payments from anywhere in the world in US dollars. And it's going to be paid directly to that bank. And I'll receive it here in VIP here, which I can also withdraw anytime I want. So this is basically how you set up the PME account and the moment you have this you are good to go. We'll go now and I'll show you how to set up your Amazon account and how to integrate what we have here what we have here with Amazon. Yeah, so these are the bank details that we will need. Okay, so if you are using a smartphone you can just decide to copy out this information so that it becomes easy for you to fill up when you are doing the amazon registration however if you are using a pc you can leave it this way and just create a new tab so we are done for this i'm going to show you how to create amazon account in the next video cheers